Today has been a complete upgrade. Complete upgrade. A lot of you have been taking time to yourself resting. Getting ready for the next phase, if you will. Sometimes spirit will put you in positions to where you have no choice but to relax and take time to yourself. Especially when you're somebody that's extremely fiery, resilient, hard working individual for yourself and yourself only. When you have that, that's when it's almost impossible to shut yourself off. So spirit will put you in positions. If some of you have been having technological difficulties, car difficulties, etc., not being able to get certain places or just a hard time doing things that normally just flow for you. And it put you in the position where you had to go ahead and say, okay, I'm gonna take some time for myself. It was for you. And you're so grateful because uh, it seems this time frame of being able to reflect, you've really been able to see who is my community, who's there for me, no matter what I do or what position they see me in their life. Who are my real rider dies? You figured out during this time. You've had a lot of dreams, premonitions actually. They weren't dreams, they were premonitions. Your psychic abilities have enhanced. They're always enhancing. But Spirit has a big message today. Big message. There's upgrades out the water. I know that October is going to be an absolutely phenomenal month. Um, but there's a lot to be excited for in September as well. A lot to be excited for. Alright. So, what community building? Who is by your side? Feels like a lot of this is, is building the found family. There could be romance involved. There usually is, isn't there? It's kind of inevitable. But let's focus on community. On what makes us connected, makes us seen. You might be in, uh, also getting called to just do some form of self-expression. That could be updating your wardrobe, your hairstyle, your home, maybe getting a tattoo or something. You're being called to do that. Whenever you're feeling called to upgrade yourself or your surroundings, it means something is coming in. All right, let's see what we got. Man, this is a spicy reading. It's kind of emotional. It is. But it's resilience. Okay, you've had not the easiest life. You've had a lot thrown at you. And you've chosen to rise above it, fly above it, and see things from a totally different perspective. Not become the things that surrounded you, right? You are a person that has a lot of new opportunities always coming your way. Um, you have the volcano effect when it comes to your manifestations. It's been more than the years you've been working on your spiritual journey. This has been since you were a child. Okay, you have a lot owed to you from the universe. Karma. And karma is not a bad thing. You should not be scared of the word karma because all it means is what goes out comes back. Three times multiplied. If you're sending high frequency, high vibrations, that means that's what's coming back three times multiplied. So basically the only way you need to worry is if you're a low vibrational person. And the way to be a low vibrational person is not putting yourself first and also taking advantage of others. You had opened up a whole horizon and you got so excited and the world was in front of you and you were meeting more found family members. And sometimes when so much can be thrown at you and it's all new, it can be so overwhelming. It can be blinding. And you have to go back and retreat and figure out, hey, is this really what I want? Because you've never experienced actually having in front of you physically everything you've desired. So there was a stag. There was a, a, there was a stagnation, a stall in the progress of fruition. We had to build some more tough skin. I think some people, um, everybody in this dynamic realized what forms of softness do I still have? What codependency, what trauma, what paranoia, trust issues. Everybody in this situation 
how to gain more tough skin. There was grief mindset that was getting in the way, making you feel tied, bound to certain, certain circumstances, and I'm definitely channeling in on more than one person's energy. Um, so this isn't just you, because there's synchronicities, there's tangle partner effects with people that are, are divines. They really want me to say that, whoever your divine is, but also more than that, just your friends and your business partners and et cetera. You all merge together and your thoughts are one without realizing it. All of you had chains. All of you had things tied to your parasite that had to be released to be able to come together and truly put the big vision, okay? This was never ending. That had to be released to be able to come together and truly put the big vision, okay? This was never ended. It was incomplete. The story's not over. There's been a hot and cold but not a ghosting. This is totally different than something you've ever experienced before. It looks like, remember these are collective tapes what resonates. I'm gonna, I always try to channel it as many ways as I possibly can fathom to put into this 3D world, okay? The way I'm channeling this is somebody, this is um, right now a romantic sense. Everything we've talked about, some people here have a business partner who they're in a romantic connection with or a back and forth, figuring it out, unplug from each other, plug from each other. There's this sense of whoever the romantic person was within this dynamic. Uh, too, they, it wasn't too much in a way they didn't want it. It was overwhelming. It was so much energy to have somebody put so much work and effort to them when they haven't felt that really ever. Another thing was so many opportunities in front of you, you don't even know where to start. Delegating tasks, figuring out priorities, mending and learning how to handle so many more energies around you on the day to days. There was a sense of fear saying, hey, do I have the ability to do this or should I just quit? And some of you thought about quitting. And that's okay because it's, it's part of the cycle. It's part of the leap of faith, feeling the moments of thinking of not doing it. What, how would you feel the leap of faith if you haven't felt not wanting to take it before, right? So, a bunch of people separate for further growth found themselves during this time, figured out what am I personally doing to stall this progress, and decided, you know what, maybe I, need to, I, need to, I do need to ask for help. Maybe, just maybe I can trust the people that are around me right now. You see, it, it looks like we um, all put our foot down about setting healthy boundaries in more ways than one. Some people did this when it came to um, a business deal. Some people did when it came to setting healthy boundaries in a romantic dynamic. This sense of though, this is my worth and I'm not going to belittle my worth. And it was reciprocated. It was said, it, it, it was shown that yes, I do appreciate you. And I just want to come to an understanding and compromises and, and talk. It made you see, it made you be at peace with fate. There was something at peace with fate with all these decisions that you've been sitting on that, hey, if I do what's best for me, I speak my mind and it doesn't align anymore, that means that that person, that opportunity was not meant for me. It was a lesson. But if I stand up for myself, if I set my worth, put up my healthy boundaries, but still allow people to visit and come in and they respect me and value me, we can go forth. You internally were at peace with fate that I am done trying to please everybody else. And spirit says you won. You could have become emotionally detached. You could have looked at all of this with the glass half empty instead of half full, but you didn't. There were a lot of tests given to you these past couple days and you passed with flying colors. And when I say test, I don't like people to think that means it's a pass or fail thing. But it is, it is more like a sense of, are you ready to go to the next step? Or do we need to keep you here so you're not overwhelming and putting yourself 
it's like um it's, the best way I can explain it is think about divisions, right? With like sports and etc. You're not gonna pair a, a group of like uh, high schoolers against like like elementary kids. Spiritual growth sense. That's what those tests are. It's to make sure they're not putting you in positions you're not ready for. It's for you, not to you. You could have decided to close up, have a lack mindset, get angry, not take this time to grow. But you chose the bigger picture and you're being extremely rewarded. You have not let fear mindset stop you. In fact, you've seen so many, so many signs of divine intervention that somehow now you realize, yo, if something's like vibing, if it's working, if it's flowing, it is meant for me. Because if it's not, spirit's going to fucking do something no matter what I try to do to stop it. If it's meant for me, it's meant for me. And I am releasing grief mindset. And alligators are a big forward movement for you guys. Alligators are resilient. But they're still one with their pact, with their with their family, and their strong, strong, tough skin. So, what else do we have? We have two more sets of cards. These cards are completely indulging into something about a new career opportunity or the current job you're in or some form of elevating your self care. These cards are about a romantic person you have uh, you have questions for. Okay. It looks like both of you feel side. When, when I get cards sideways, that means that both forces feel the same way. So, yeah, there's somebody that wants to come to more of an agreement with you. And we'll see what that's about. But when it comes to this career or your health or etc., okay, you've found some form of life partner. A life partner is somebody who they come into your life, and as soon as they come in, they never leave. You are ride or dies. A lot of times I see that they're business partners. You have found somebody in your life that you're going to be able to be a worker bee, a busy bee with. Both of you have your own crafts and are able to combine together. And both of you understand your worth and how to talk. Both of you have been through trauma and bullshit and know a good person when they see one. And neither of you are doing bad at all in your life. You are soaring mountains. So imagine, and you already have imagined, you already have put together what you two can do together. This is definitely indulging into the holistic side of life. Something about um, self-care. You could be a health influencer. This can do with like, uh, it can be even Reiki work is what I'm seeing as well. Or something to do with massage therapy, uh, hair, all, all that part of life. Even like I'm seeing the candle. So this could be like uh, very much maybe like making your own holistic company take what resonates with this if this for any reason has to do more with just investing in health in yourself this is your sign that you are to indulge make yourself a bath with roses put candles around you safely talk to the moon talk to your emotions invest in yourself right now is a time of diving into emotions you have rooted yourself and are expanding your garden okay the, the ocean is in, like, if you live somewhere where the ocean's close, it would be great to, to really go as much as you can. Because being with the water is purifying. It will give you a lot of ideas. It will make you be able to go within, and, and it's quiet when you're in that vicinity. Frogs and bees are a big forward movement as well. It looks like the energy you're sending, whoever this, this opportunity or this sense of I'm taking care of myself is growth is is abundant you are not making assumptions you see both of you honor whoever you in this business opportunity or the person that is wanting to partner with you to work on health so this could even be like um somebody who wants to go you guys have decided we're going to go on a health journey together we're going to go to the gym together we're going to eat better together etc you're both promoting each other's masculine energy your will go your willpower your go-getter attitude your persistency and this is so high vibrational it's all now this is go time. It is, it is not time to be waiting anymore. They have put you in hibernation and moments of stillness to get ready for what's happening now. September on, the rest of this year is going to be extremely busy for you. In agreement. We might have somebody here that like to, okay. Uh, <laughs> all in the reasons for elevating though. 
It looks like you and this person will be indulging in healthy substances that are natural, that make you connected to the world. You're going to work about manifestation and light work together as well, incorporating this into your business and how to promote and continue to pull in the opportunities and things that are meant for you. Okay, the light work is for you and for the world. It, harm, it harms no one, and that is this thing. You guys, you guys are definitely going to do something with herbs, or or such natural substances. And this is abundant. And so this is basically saying it's somebody that you can work hard and relax with as well. You can say work hard, play hard, but it feels like both of you, it feels like both of you are part, of, that part of your life of like partying and doing all that stuff, so fucking done. So fucking done. You'll, you'll have, you'll have your going out. You'll have your, your, your ways of having fun. But this is a person that is so far past bullshit. The things you worried about with other people you try to go in business with or be um, committed to doing something better together like a friend who went, said they wanted to go to the gym with you but wouldn't. Whoever this is in your circumstance is going to stick around and work with you. You're both going to give each other resilience. This is protective and extremely high vibrational. So what do we have about that love connection that's coming up for the rest of the month? So whoever you and this romantic partner was, you both did not expect this to happen, for you two to have such a deep and romantic and spiritual connection. Both of you at some point wondered if they failed the other or there's something about their sole purpose were they avoiding? Because both of you have gone hot and cold in different aspects. And I see um, both of you have been totally different in this dynamic than you have with others. It looks like this next couple of, this, this, these next couple of weeks is going to be about getting to know each other even more. It's not going to be center focused on romance. It's going to be balanced, though. I'm not saying there's not going to be romance because it's it's impossible for you two to be in front of each other and there not be some form of inner, like... But you're both going to really, really um, hold this resilience of... We know that time is coming. And I'm going to take right now to get to know you and your soul so that when that intimacy and when all that comes, it's it's going to be even deeper. You see, you are a light source to this person. They are sending you strength and they absolutely were and are, were and, um, are respecting your space. You both have set up healthy boundaries, not only with each other, but yourselves. It's hard for both of you um, at certain times to not ignore the other person, but say, I need to put myself first. But this beacon of light, it looks like both of you always encouraged it in, in moments in the past when people would have ran away, not appreciated you, made you think you were being selfish, you, you too did not do. You see, this unplug was necessary, but you can expect now, both of you see neither of you failed each other. If anything, this proved even more that you're not going anywhere. And there's balance in this dynamic. And know that even though there will be not much romance, absolute connection and oneness, even though there won't be much romance in this next upcoming month, you both do feel it. And even though it might not be time for both of you to say it, but you, you do love each other in a romantic sense. And you are falling in love with each other. You just know it, you feel it, but this is organic and this is somebody who it is amazing that it's starting out this way, that you're both holding this because you don't want to lose each other. You don't want to rush into something like it's been in the past. So what Spirit's basically saying is continue. You are right about this person. You have restored balance between each other. There's no need to rush anything. We don't make stagnation either. You're going to be seeing this person. You're going to be connecting allow the intimacy side to come 
at the right time. But that's what I got for y'all today. This is fucking awesome. All right? All right. Let's get it.